What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm proud to say that I am back. I'm back, I'm back, I am back. It has been a long time. It's been well over a year. Uh, all my videos are gone. I deleted everything. I'm starting new. I'm starting fresh. Because last time I recorded a video, I told you guys I wanted to start making my channel more geared towards cars. So... Uh, building my cars, showing off my friends' cars, going to car meets, uh, just anything car related because out here in California and Southern California especially, the car scene is getting shut down a lot and so I just want to be able to show the beauty of it and uh, how, how it really helps a lot of us get through our days, get through our lives a lot better because it's something that we look forward to doing. Like myself, it's something uh, that, like I said, I haven't posted in over a year and I've been realizing this has been like the void in my heart, this YouTube, uh, doing car related things. I've really been neglecting my cars lately. Uh, so just getting back to that so I can find me again and hopefully it can help y'all find you. So me and my boy Vincent, we're gonna go on a little cruise up to Idlewild and we're gonna show off both of our cars. They're both uh, in not too good condition right now, but we're gonna work with what we've got right now. So I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, if you like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, anything uh, that you'd like to see. I appreciate any and all support. And for you guys that have been rocking with me since I first started, back when I was Wyland Reviews, uh, I truly appreciate you guys. I truly love you guys. I know there's not many, but I appreciate y'all. I really do. So sit back and enjoy the video. It was awesome. It was it was good. It was good. It was beautiful. We had actually tried to film this video, what, like a month ago? Yeah. About a month ago. <laughs> and we got up to this exact spot right here, and I was in Raina's car, which me and her have the same cars. We'll talk about that later. But it just started spewing coolant, and it ruined the whole day. It, it, it was horrible. It was horrible. I wanted to cry. But we are here with my main man, Vincent. What's up, y'all? And his 2016 Ford Focus ST. It's got a, it's got a little boo boo up here. It's got a little he, he got into a little issue oh, yesterday, no. and uh, that'll be fixed soon. No, don't, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll get that going. But you can't take away from how beautiful the STs are. I think the one thing I hate most about the ST man. Yeah, so yeah, so he spent like an hour trying to zip tie that thing up because uh, it was just hanging, it was dragging. But yeah, well, I dragged it, I dragged it from Santa Ana all the way here, <laughs> and uh, here is Hemet, California. So about hour and a half, hour and a half, close to two hours, he dragged that. But it's all right, we're gonna get it all fixed up. But uh, what do you have done to it so far, Vince? Absolutely not. <laughs> I got the car on May 17th, I think. Yeah, it was an Earth Day, Earth Day, early birthday present to myself. Um, I have a friend, Robert. He actually has one. His is a full bolt-on too. From what he was looking at, this is on Loring Springs. I really don't know what Loring Springs are. I haven't really checked it out. Um, I'm trying to save up for Godspeed, even though BCs, I really want them. Money right now is a little tight. So, bound to an inline intake in here, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, let's pop this guy open. Uh, uh, I don't know where it's at. You gotta do it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so you said an intake? Yeah. There I we go. This out. Yeah, the, yesterday when I was putting in my purge valve hose and I put in my new O2. Okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. I'm actually going to buy, he's parting out right now, so I'm going to buy his Roush intake and 
then I'm gonna take his catalyst down pipe. So there you go, that's two right there. And then take his carbon fiber fibers. Good. Then, honestly, I do want to keep a wiper for how many chips there are on this car, especially when I did have the thump up run. I'm gonna wrap it in satin purple. Oh, there you go. Get some there you wheels. go. The SR came out with a new series, they call the CR5. They get those in a hyper silver. But I'm gonna power coat them white. Well, power coat them white. Okay, so we're gonna. He's trying to be like baby Strodman, huh? <laughs> yeah, big, big boost this thing. Um, I'm not tuned right now or anything. But the funny thing is, is that I've gapped his focus. I've gapped his focus and he's a full bolt-on tune. So we have a theory that the original owner to this car, when he tuned it, he probably actually may have tuned the ECU maybe. I'm not too sure to be honest. My gear ratio is about as long as his. He was telling me when he got his focus, when it was stock, it was way shorter. So I don't know, to be honest. I don't know, but we've got we've got a pretty fun, fun build going for this. So right now, next, it's the catalyst downpipe, and then the intake, and then after that, I'm probably going to get wheels and tires because this is a front wheel drive. I'm gonna be honest, the tires are honestly gonna grow up pretty fast. They do indeed, they do indeed. So I'm going to get some Extreme Contact Sport Continentals and the CR5 wheels. And then maybe, just maybe, I might get the uh, the Focus RS front brim boats. It's not the easy one down, the next one's on. I was thinking about getting the calipers purple to match the wrap. There we go. Um, I want to get uh, a new snorkel. I forgot what brand it was. I saw it on Instagram, but they glow in the dark. <laughs> they glow in the dark, so I want to get a purple one. That's sick. Okay. That's sick. And then, yeah, CPE um, intercooler, CPE little motor mounts. And then, I do want to get the Vega Motorsports skirts, front and back um, lips. And then, I also want to get the wing extension cord. But I don't know. I might get triple R composites. To be honest, the place is cheaper on money. Well, oh, and then I need to get this fixed. Oh yeah, we got a we got a little crack action over here. I don't know if the yeah, video so will funny pick it thing up. Is, if you guys want to focus, the first time taking off the actual wiper blade itself to get this panel off to reach back there, it just makes it easier to get to the O2 sensor. It's a it's a pain in the butt. So he had a bright mind of taking a big flathead and he was twisting it so it would pop up. But when he did that, it had smacked it down and cracked the whole bunch. <laughs> it's all right it's all right it's a work in progress but yeah we're gonna we're we're gonna have to get into this in a little bit yeah um, just a straight pipe that's it oh there you go so straight pipe intake lowering springs lowering springs uh, and I stickers raised, i raised the wing oh you raised the a, wing i went to home depot and i bought some um nylon fasteners they're i think they're one inch yeah they're one inch and then what you do is you lift up your hatch, you take off the back panel, and then all the screws are right there. Um, if you guys ever done this by yourself, yeah, it's it's a pain. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it took me it took me like an hour and a half just trying to do that by myself. Well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get into this. Thanks for showing us. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome, man. Anytime. Now we get to uh, we get to show my my fun little thing. So. I'm gonna hand the camera over to Vincent. Yes, sir. And we're gonna oh. we're, we're gonna go over oh. this. So this is my 2011 Hyundai Genesis Coupe 2.0T. Uh, it, it is by far not the most beautiful Genesis out there, but that's why I've got this handy little decal right here that my <laughs> mom made for me. Thank you, mom. Perfectly ruined. Uh, in my eyes, I, I perfectly ruined my cars. I mean. It's about what I like and how I want my car to be. That's that's what I truly believe the car community is about. It's building what you want your car to look like, not what everybody else wants your car to look like. So yeah, uh, I don't have too much done to it. I do have 1552 podium wheels um, that a buddy of mine curved. A little upset about that, but it's all right. You know, <laughs> get over it. I'm gonna get some new wheels eventually. Um, as you can see, there's no tailpipe sticking out. I'm doing a pretty unhealthy thing. I've got open downpipe right now, so it's stupid loud. You guys probably heard it in the 
initial first clip of the video it's it's way too loud um we've got you know stickers here and there for for extra horsepower you know that adds five horsepower all, all the time not to mention the paul walker sticker now. yeah man paul walker i got the honor of meeting his brother uh a couple months ago great guy uh paul walker oh. will forever live with me on all of my cars i'm not gonna lie meeting him in person was such an awesome feeling oh man it really was and then we'll get under the hood. I don't have too much going on. Well, I don't really have anything going on. Uh, I just got the car back from the head being blown. So I've got a rebuilt head, uh, thanks to car tuners out in Temecula. Then I've got the big old Typhoon k &N intake. That was not fun putting on at all. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a mechanic at all. I kind of learn as I go, as we all do. So... That was my first time doing an intake. It was not fun. It was, it was, it, it was not fun. Then the only other thing I've got going on is this ISR intake. Only reason I've got an ISR intake is because I cracked the stock intake and I wasn't going to pay stock prices for Hyundais. If any of you Hyundai guys are out there, y'all know Hyundai overprices their stock parts and it, it's just ridiculous. But uh, yeah, that's really all we got going on here. I've got a lot of unrealistic plans for this car. I'm not going to say too much just because I like to keep my stuff in the dark because then you look stupid if you don't actually come through with it. But there's some big plans for this coming very soon. Very, very soon. But yeah, we're going to get into both the Genesis and the Focus. Go for little rips. Uh, hear them out. I'm not going to drive mine too hard just because, like I said, I just got it back from the head being rebuilt. So I'm still kind of in that little uh, easing into it period. I'm not driving it too hard. Oh, and how could I forget? It's not a mod by any means, but Hunt & Co. Banner. Oh, yes, sir. We put Orange this on banner. today. There's air bubbles. It's disgusting. But you know what? <laughs> it was my first time putting on a banner. It was our first time putting on a banner. We did our best. But TJ Hunt, if you're watching this, I love you. I love you. And I love you. <laughs> But yeah, so we're going to hop into these cars. We're going to go for a little, little spin. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's hear, let's hear Wally sing, huh? Let's turn off the AC. I'm not going to lie. It sounds good with open headers. Downpipe. Downpipe. Yeah, no, uh, it's, it's not good for the car by any means. I'm not getting any back pressure. I'm not. And it's, it's just too loud. Like... Yeah. 
for those Man. of us that don't know this area, this is going uphill. We are going oh. uphill to a little town called Ottawa. We're not going to go to Ottawa, but that, that's what this road is. It's like and a big it, canyon. <laughs> this truck was doing at least 80, and he swung it around and going in. Yeah, we like to run it through the canyons a lot, but that was... Oh my god, I saw my life flash before my eyes right there. Yeah, man, that was, that was, that was, that was a little scary. A little scary. But, um, man, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, got, got the head rebuilt. Truly happy to have the car back. And, uh, yeah, now, now we can film some videos for the guys. Oh, yes, sir. turbo but it's it's crazy yeah no it'll be fun so we'll see y'all down there all right let's get into this hot hatch oh. oh there goes the windshield wipers oh there goes the screen yep something's broken oh you know what i'm an idiot it just flashes because <laughs> oh, <yeah>. the camera <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so all right. let's see let's, let's see what this little phone. baby has it's a little I act like we don't even know, like like we drive this thing all the time. I've driven it all numerous times. I already know what it does, but it's all. Oh. oh. Like, uh, no, like it's it's raining, like, but he had been drinking up there with like 
some of his friends or whatever. So I was Do like, not drink and drive. Yeah, I don't promote <laughs> drinking and driving at all. And if you have driven while driving drunk in a stick, it's not fun at all. It's just not. But we've never done that. We no, I, nobody I've in this I've been car. in a vehicle where someone has done that before, but just don't. No, it's yeah. a bad idea. So do think that it was a cool idea. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and like rip one before you know I, I dip out of here and leave everybody jaws down and everything. As soon as he, he went up a little bit of the ways and we're hearing him come down, it sounded nice, I'm not gonna lie. But when he hit that corner, oh man. It, yeah, he hit the side rail and everything. So and we had went up to him and we're like, dude, you're alright and everything, and then uh we were like, you, you want an ambulance? And he's like, no, no. And the only reason why he was saying no is because he knew he was drinking. You know, he's got alcohol in his system. He didn't want, you know, the police to take him out, you know, and pound the vehicle or whatever. So that had happened. And ever since then, I don't really push the canyons to the limits like when I first I started to. Now it just makes me more aware because I actually, funny thing, when I first got this car, a few weeks later, I had went up to Ottawa for the first time in this, and I was pushing it like crazy, and I almost fell off, fell off the mountain. Man. And it's Jesus. funny, because I've never done did that. Yeah, I don't yeah. Do it again. yeah, you're great, you're great. Yeah, exactly. You already know me. But yeah, this thing is, uh, it's a lot quicker than mine, it's a lot faster than mine. Um, I think it's got me in the horsepower department by like 50 or 60. But do you know what it comes stuck? Um, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say these stock roughly like 260 horses. Okay, so and yeah, around 260s, 270 horses, and like 280 torque, 285 torque, maybe. The, the, the torques in these things, they're they're insane. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, they're they're freaking. The top end in these cars is not really that. How I explain it's not that well uh, now if you get tuned you can take a little bit of the turbo lag off of this but just the low end starts off of a dig or just even on a regular roll they, they, they pull man I'm not gonna lie these suckers pull um, that's yeah so those are the numbers you're looking at but if you want to get exact numbers go ahead and get a dyno well, it's, it's pretty expensive to get a dyno after I get this tuned I'm actually gonna go get this dyno um, there's a place out in I want to say Riverside. If you guys are in that area, let me know. I want to get this dyno. I want to see the exact numbers that I'm pushing in this thing. I want to see the exact number for how many times you said dyno. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that's how much I want to get this thing dyno. I'm not going to lie. Man. Um, yeah. Um, there's really nothing much to this. Oh, it's a front wheel drive. It's a front wheel drive vehicle. Yes. So taking the corners in these is, is really, really nice. But the understeer, yeah, the understeer, if you don't catch it just right, yeah, you're flipping. <laughs> you're flipping big time. And I thought that's what we were going to do a little bit ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, though. We we're, survived. We're alive. It's okay. We know Two what we're doing. near-death experiences on this one video. So Actually, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so uh, that's, that's Vincent's car. That, so we're gonna go back down to where my car's parked at, close out this video. Yeah, so uh, it was a pretty fun day. You know, got to got to hang out with one of my boys, show off our cars. You know, we we don't have much, but we work with what we got. And um, I'm just I, I'm really happy to be back. Uh, I'm happy to be recording again. I feel so much better today, like today was just day one, but I feel so much better, um, and I can't wait to make more videos, you know, it's been a crazy world that we've been living in these last, this last year, almost two years now, and so uh, I just want to get back to me, you know, like I said, I was gone for a long time, um, and it was hard, it was hard on me, uh, figuring out why I felt the way I felt, and this was one of the voids in my life. I mean, there's a lot more things that are that are impacting my life that I need to change or do better in, but 
this was one of the big things that I can make an immediate impact on. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys that watch. Uh, I'm currently working crazy hours right now, so like I'm not gonna say that I'm. I, I'll never be posting every day like I used to do. Uh, I just I simply don't have the time for that right now. But uh, I'm gonna be working towards at least uh, once a week, once every two weeks, and then hopefully I could start doing more videos uh, later on once once I've got some things figured out. But yeah, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that, all that good stuff, you know. And uh, I'm gonna just keep doing me and keep making these videos. All right, y'all. Peace.